foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the servants, the prophets, the, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine, unto you, I say shalom. All we have is hope and faith, hope of the kingdom, okay? Hope of deliverance, hope of salvation, hope of a new life, okay? And, and, and the faith, which is a gift that the Heavenly Father gave us, all right? That when times get bad, shit get rough, we lean and depend on Yahweh Bashim Shai. This is an exhortation to the hopeful elect. OK, because everyone doesn't have faith. All right. Every majority of these people hope and believe in the society, in this system, in this dollar. OK, but at the end of the day, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Israelites scattered amongst these heathen nations. We don't got shit. OK, hey, your car, your house. You say you own this. You say you own this. Jake got a little bit of money. That's an athlete, an entertainer. You a businessman. You don't got shit because your whole life is the, your whole life, your whole a uh, 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 you know fortune or enterprise or whatever you want to call it is dependent on the U.S. dollar, okay? It, it, it's dependent on a, a, a currency that is fiat, all right? That 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 is uh, um you know based on a, a stock market, which they can crash any minute, and then everyone's going to be on everyone's going to be uh, uh, on a, a equal playing ground, okay? Your money, your cars, none of that stuff not going to be worth shit, okay? So all the hopeful elect have is the hope and faith, okay, and that's what's going to, um, that's what's going when 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 that when that market crash happened. That's what's going to separate the elect from the non-elect in that day, because we have hope and we have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We believe and trust on these prophecies. We believe and trust on those names, okay. But hey, we're prisoners of hope. Prisoners of hope. This is Zechariah nine and twelve. Turn you at the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope, even to the day I. Even even today, I, do I declare that I will render double unto thee? We're prisoners of hope. That's the point, okay? Hey, we 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 understand. You know, the the more the you grow into this truth, you under, you your understanding grows, okay? And you know, but hey, with with that great understanding is is going to be more um uh, more grief, okay? What is that? Um, I think it's Ecclesiastes 1 and like the last two verses. Let me see. Um, yeah, verse uh, 17. I And I gave my heart to no wisdom and to no madness and folly. I perceive this is also vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So as the more we gain, the more we understand, you know, the more knowledge and wisdom we gain in this truth, all right, the more sorry, sorrow sorrow you're going to uh, have, all right? And the more your eyes are going to be open to the truth of this world that we live in, that we don't got shit, okay? I, I was just thinking that, you know, in my life, it, I don't give a shit how much money you can give me, what situation you can put me in. It's not my my, my whole attitude towards society, you know, uh, uh, is not going to change toward this, this, you know, this world is not going to change. There's nothing that can happen, okay, in my life to make it better. In this in the in this current in this current captivity in this current situation, and brothers that in all brothers think the same way. All right, the hopeful elect is not going to be, uh, um, not going to have any kind of um, stake in America. All right, in, in this society, in this place. Okay, let me grab another scripture. Um, this is Proverbs chapter uh, ten, and verse twenty-eight. It reads, uh, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but he that but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. All right. The the wicked, of course, is Esau Edom, but the wicked of our people that that um that 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 are optimistic about this society, are optimistic about America, or are, are looking to the future to gain here. Okay? The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. Why why do we have gladness? Because we have this truth. We know that our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is coming to deliver us. OK, to, to, to take to take out our enemy and deliver us from this captivity. OK, that's what our gladness. Our gladness is in this hope and this truth. OK, this knowledge and this wisdom. All right. Uh, coming back to our heritage, coming back to this knowledge and this true wisdom. All right. That that's what our gladness is. That's what our hope is in. All right. But the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Our, our people expect 
all right, expect America to continue to go. They expect to be rich and they expect this devil Esau to give them reparations. Okay. That, 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 that these niggas continue to hope and put their faith in, in America, really put their faith in this man, this white man, this so-called white man. And when Esau rolls out this new world order, that's what they're going to put all their faith and their efforts and, 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 uh, and, um, time into. Okay. And, and, and you know, the apostles, elders, brothers have been, been, been telling you this. When Esau rolls out that MOTB, this New World Order, you're going to see, you know, a, you're gonna, it's going to be some resistance, but the majority of our people, Israelites, are going to get down with this system, all right, because they want to continue to, they want to continue to, to prosper here. They want to continue to keep this, this uh, Esau society going, all right? Let me grab um, Hebrews 11, because I spoke on faith, and that's another thing uh, um, that we have. We, that's, you know, one of the main things that we have is just faith. All right, our faith in Yahweh Bashim Shah, whatever, whatever, you know, uh um, um situation we're in, financially, spiritually, emotionally, whatever it is, we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Shah that if I'm in this situation, I'm here for a reason, so the Lord can build me. If I'm in this situation, I have faith that the Lord's gonna see me through this situation and get me out of this situation. Okay? But Hebrews eleven and one. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, faith is the substance of things hoped for. All right, we have faith. We can't see the angels. We can't see Yahweh Shai and the Most High. Okay, we can't even, we can barely see the chariots. Okay, but we believe. All right, well, that's what our faith is, and our faith is in this truth. Okay, we're reading words from the scriptures that were written over 2,000 years ago, but we have faith in those words because the scriptures are uh, fountains of living water. Okay, there's prophecies in here that have come to pass that builds our faith. It's prophecies that are going to come to pass that we see coming to pass that that also builds our faith and knowing that we have a kingdom knowing knowing that this is not our rest knowing that we are going to uh, whether we die here in this flesh we're going to um or or, or we get delivered from the cap from this from the destruction we know that we're going to you know be with you how in the kingdom okay that's what our faith is in all right um i want to get um Oh, um, let me grab this. There's another scripture I want to grab. Um, Ephesians 2 and 8. Because faith is a gift. Faith is not something that is given to everyone. Because everyone says they have faith. That's what their mouth says. Like Yahweh Shai said, or he's quoted Isaiah. Uh, um, Though you honor me with your mouth, your heart is far from me. Yeah, it's a lot of niggas out there that say they got faith. Even, Israel, even Jake's in Israel that say they have faith. But when your faith is tested, that's when your faith is going. That's when you're going to know if you got faith or not. All right. When, when you're put in a situation, when you're put in a bind, OK, are you going to lean on your own understanding or are you going to uh, uh, um, or lean on your how about you mouth shy? OK, are you going to lean on the wisdom of this devil, of this system? Uh, uh, or, or are you going to lean on the wisdom and knowledge um, given to us by your how about you shy? All right. That's what it really boils down to. Everyone's faith will be tested. OK, but as we grow, as we get closer to the end. All right, the Lord is going to throw trials and tribulation at us, a uh, small test to test our faith. So when that big test comes, the hour of temptation, okay, and and, and we're we're dealing with several plagues, whether it be pestilence, whether it be some type, some form of um, famine, okay, where, where where we're gathered up, where we're separated from our family. That's when your faith is really going to be put to the test. And like I said, everyone is not given that gift, okay. For by grace, uh, Ephesians two and eight. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Most High. So it's not of us. It's the Lord that increases our faith. It's the Lord, and the Lord can take faith away from you. So if you have faith, you have a certain level of faith, you have to pray for more faith. All right, I pray that the Lord gives me more faith and helps me uh, continue to endure in this captivity, in, 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 in this truth. Okay? Um, let me see. Um, oh, let me grab this. Matthew 6 and... um. um because once you begin to learn this truth and understand this truth, you have to seek the kingdom of heaven. All right. Seeking the kingdom of heaven is calling on the names of Yahweh Bashi Mao Shai, uh, uh, practicing the righteous acts, following the law, says your commandments to the best of your ability. All right. Putting things in the Lord's hand. All right. Lord's hand. Excuse me. Um, this is Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye, seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. That's what we were supposed to be seeking first. So it, what, we seek the kingdom of heaven first. Okay. Anything that we need in this world, the Lord is going to provide for us. Okay. 
So you got a lot of people out here that 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 know about the truth, hear about the truth, they understand their Israelite, but they'll put the truth on the back burner because they got to chase the bag because they have to, uh, uh, um, you know, they put the truth on hold because they, in their mind, all right, they feel it's more important things in their life right now than seeking after this truth than under you know seeking knowledge and wisdom. Okay, let me get the one in John six, um, Saint John six, and verse twenty seven. Labor not for the meat which which perisheth, but for the meat with which endureth for everlasting unto excuse me, the but the meat which endureth unto everlasting life. The Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath the most high the Father sealed. Okay? It says it says labor not for for you're not laboring for um meat which perish. You're not laboring for carnal things. Okay, we're laboring for spiritual things. We're laboring for uh, uh wisdom and knowledge and um, you know, a, a, a faith, okay, that the Lord increases us, you know, in, in, at the end, all right, gives us that, gives us that, you know, put his spirit on us where we can, um, where we can resist all matter of temptation during the hour of temptation and, and when the, you know, the, the, you know, the great calamities and the great, uh, uh, plagues begin to come, okay, we're laboring for, for, we're not laboring for carnal things, we're laboring for spiritual things, all right, um, I think I quoted this earlier, let me grab it, Micah 2 and 10, um, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay. Hey, like I said at the beginning of this, we don't got shit in this society. Okay. This is not our rest. This is, we're not supposed to be, you know, trying to make it. All right. That's Jake's problem. That's a big, you know, part of Jake's reason, you know, uh, a problem. They trying to make it. They have, yes, we have jobs and we have things that, you know, um, we have to take care of in the world, all right. But the, hey, we're all we're asking for is our daily bread. We're just asking for enough to get by, and, and the Lord's gonna take care of the rest. The Lord may throw you an extra little bit here and there, but that's all we're asking for. We're not asking for to to, to have a, a, a build an empire or, or build this great big company or none of that shit. Okay, we're just asking for enough to get by. We're just asking the Lord to to you know to bless us, to give us you know uh, our daily bread. All right. I want to grab this, um, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Psalms 118 and, um, uh, verse eight, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in princes. It's better to put faith in the Lord than to put confidence and put faith in man. That's what Jake is essentially doing out there. Okay. When they put their faith and 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 their all their efforts and time into this system into a job they're putting their faith in man because they because what does that job give you what is that uh, uh, uh um all your hard work you know whether you working for a, a um a company or, you, or yourself what, what what's the end result of that you're going to get money in a return of course nothing's wrong with money okay but the um but what are you laboring for or says uh scripture says in uh what is that proverbs labor not to be rich Okay, our people, let me get that. Our people labor to be rich. Here it is, Proverbs 23 and 4. Labor not to be rich, cease from thy own wisdom. All right, your own wisdom is going to tell you, hey, I need to get this back. I need to get rich. I need to stack this money. Okay, but you need to be stacking faith. Okay, that's what, that's the real money. You need to be stacking wisdom. That's the real money. The scripture says, 30, uh, what is that? Isaiah 33 and 6, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. Or that's what's going to keep you keep you stable, keep you uh, 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 keep you level, level minded, level head, you know, have, with a level head. OK, not no damn money. All right. And, and, you know, Jake in the world, when they're making a lot of money, their mind is the furthest thing from their mind is salvation. All right. And you fall on the law, statutes, and commandments. Their mind is on their money or, or, or in their mind is. You know, either getting more money or, or, you know, how can they keep a nigga from stealing their money? OK, or how to spend this money or how to trick off this money. That's Jake's whole mindset. OK, um, I got one more scripture I want to grab. Uh, Job, because um, it's going to come a time where, hey, you know, we I'm speaking of hope and faith and these spiritual things. It's going to be a come. It's going to come a time where we, you know, brothers, brothers may lose everything. OK, brothers may lose their house, their car. They brothers may have to live in their car. Brothers may lose their job, whatever it may be. OK, but we still 
have that hope and faith in your Habashim Yahushua when it's all said and done. Okay? That 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 hey, the Yahushua, your Habashim Yahushua, hey, that that's our um that's our backup plan. That's our only plan. Okay? This is Job chapter uh, 13 and uh 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Hey, so we're brought to a low level. We're still going to trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's where our faith relies. All right, and the hopeful elect out there, that's where their faith is going to. Uh, um, that's where their faith is going to be. All right, in the Lord that He, you know, that He's going to, you know, um, that He's going to, you know, make good on His word. That He said He would deliver His elect. That He was said that you know He was going to uh, uh, feed His elect. All right, uh, 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 um, you know, they were laughing famine. Uh, and protect his elect. Okay, so we believe and trust in this. W you know, whatever, whatever the situation is. All right. So, um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habakkuk Shalom.